Bonjour! Hi! This is a recorded version of a live session from Twitch. It will be a very long video and that's why I put timestamp in the description so you could skip and go directly to the part that interests you. If you want to know exactly when I'm streaming, go visit twitch.tv slash fbucheros. But for now, let's watch this session. Hello! Welcome to the stream! Lovely evening, super relaxed. In fact, I'm completely <laughs> destroyed. First day after vacation is always very hard, but I still want to stream today, so um, yeah. Just pump my, uh, no, not pump, load my, uh, my VMs, got some updates to do, so I'm still doing that, so we'll do this. Uh, I have nothing really prepared tonight, uh, just chit chat, probably planning a little bit what I will be doing for the next days. I think I want to go back to uh, the reading notes project. I will need to uh, get familiar, familiar, I will need to learn a little bit more, refresh my knowledge about how to do requests on the Cosmo DB for that. We're uh, about in the logic app, we need to do this. So I may do that, but before I need to check, I had some uh, suggestion in our Azure Cleaner, the uh, Azure uh, Subscription Cleaner. So we'll probably start with that today. To today, And uh, yeah, just chill, chit chat. Feel free to, uh, to join, to ask questions. We're here to have fun. And let's right away Oh yeah, I don't have a button for that. Oh yeah, and I have I have an unbo unboxing. That's true. Uh, workflow screen. There it is. Does the sound is there? Let's do a quick check. Yes, it's there. Perfect. Let me know if the music is too loud. Maybe. I know it was not working, so I have a workaround. So the, the sound setting has changed a little. I think this could be better. Let me know. It's maybe louder than usual. Cool. So uh, let's let's open another Visual Studio. I'll just. Like I said, I was updating my Visual Studio code, my updating my... Uh, there's a ton of new version. There's a new feature in Git Kraken. I saw that earlier today in uh, on Twitter. Didn't have the time to check. Uh, may have a look into that later. So I want to open the stream project file and just take some notes. I feel like super rusty. It's been a while. I was on vacation, if you didn't know. It was wonderful. Great time. .NET Core. I don't need .NET Core in that project. Why are you downloading .NET Core? Razor. It's only MD file. Why are you doing that? I don't know. Okay, let's copy this, create a new file in there. Two thousand nineteen still in September. Not for long, September, just, I don't know for you, but this year, the, like for me, it was January, February, March, July, September. <laughs> it's like, go super fast. Hey, Len Walker too, how are you, man? First day was kind of brutal, but my first day was, Friday, but Friday I feel like you know nobody was poking me. I was alone doing my little things Today was more real you have 
You need to do things for real. So what's the title of the? Uh, I think it was GitHub. Git. Um, Azure. Chatting. Yep. So tomorrow, for those who are in Montreal or around Montreal, we have a meetup tonight. Tomorrow, I mean. So let's meet up. Let's have MTL. Let's do some little advertisement. So I'm really not sure a lot of Montreal people are online, but nevertheless. So tomorrow, is it big enough? I think it's big enough. I don't want to maximize it, so I'm not. No! Come on, just, just wait, just wait. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to open is Discord. Not sure we'll be able, uh, able to arrive um, that earlier. I think I have meetings. Let me check. So tomorrow uh, we'll just finish this before. So tomorrow um, the music is too loud for me at least. Can I? A little bit better. And zoom. There it is. Now connected. To Discord. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, no, before. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I I I may already be at the office. Um, okay. I'm I'm tired. I'm being distracted very easily. Let's go this first. So tomorrow in Montreal, the meetup, the MS Dev MTL, so Microsoft Developer Montreal. We have a, a meetup. And it's in French, so we'll just uh, do a improvise translation on the fly. So the first part will be a ASP.NET Core 3, the introduction to gRPC, and the second part will be uh, the novelty on the infrastructure as a as code, uh, Azure uh, Resource Manager, and all those things. So the first part is presented by the MVP Anthony. Geretti, and the second part by Stefan Lapointe. Lapointe. Uh, yeah. So, and we do this at the Microsoft office, so downtown Montreal. It's a free event. I will uh, put that in the chat for the record. Though we don't see the chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't. How come? Why is the chat? Where is the chat? The chat's so supposed to be on top of my head, right? The chat so should be there. Oh no, 
Oh, okay, yeah, it's bubbling up. Yeah, yeah. I forgot, I put it temporary. Like, yeah, I would like to have a nice chat with the... Um, and that could be a project I could do, but it's not cloud-based. That's why I'm always not sure i think what i will do i will do specific like a monday will be this type of a uh, thing i think i need to to plan days okay so i have the chat is over here so mr landwalker 2 yeah so i think i will be already be at the office microsoft office but uh, i have a meeting up to six yeah may finish a little bit earlier so I I would like to go grab a bite and chit chat with you guys but I don't think I will be able to I will really like because I miss the um, the kicks out hey Wes T wool welcome I think it's your first time, or maybe it's the first time you chit chat with us. Welcome, welcome. It's a very relaxed chat tonight. Just getting back from vacation, first day, super tired. <laughs> so I'm kind of all rusty, don't remember where are my projects and things. We'll get there. I think it's a good. Tonight, I want to start structuring and that's what I, I just start talking about I think I would like to structure so I will I will do something like okay you know let's say Wednesday Wednesday we're working on this maybe Monday since I had a little bit late uh, maybe we'll be like learning so we'll be doing stuff that I really really don't know and uh, and I, I was thinking also streaming some gaming because I like to play but I always feel guilty to play so if it's scheduled then you know and it's different but I want a relaxed game so maybe a RPG or something like that um, and it's definitely not happening during the day so it will be one evening well at least for me I'm in East time so let's go in Did I already close the project? No, actually this project. Okay. So la here. So this file is my notes. I put all the notes, what's happening in every stream, I put that on GitHub. So I can remember when you participate, when you have ideas. I put that. Oh, and you know what? I should do something. I, I did something today. Though there's not a lot of people to right now, I think. How much how many how many are we? Yeah, not a lot of people right now. Can I can I can I can I can I? I think I have a tool to do a pool. Right? Can I? I think I can do that. How can I do? I still remember how it used to be. I thought I had a two yeah, pool. Pool profile. You know what? Um, so my question was, I will put the link in the description in my community tab today. I ask questions. I ask, currently I'm streaming on Twitch and uploading the archive one week after on YouTube. Would you watch live stream more if it was on Twitch, if it was on YouTube or I don't care 
I watch whatever it is, or I don't care, I don't watch stream, live stream. So feel free to go there and vote. Doesn't need to be right now if you're scared that, you know, I track you, whatever, but I won't. Uh, for me, it's just honestly, I just I wonder, like, sh should I continue to stream on Twitch? I like the, the Twitch platform and everything, but, uh, like, maybe I should just stream on YouTube? I'm curious, I'm asking. Um, so feel free, and if you're watching this in video on demand, so on from the archive on YouTube, go in the community tab, okay, so like on the YouTube channel you're watching right now, on the community tab, and look for this poll right here, you just have to vote, and uh, yeah, that's it. Will help me to know better. So today, 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 uh, what I would like to do is I have I have an unboxing to do. Unboxing. Let's get rid of this because the box is just there, and I want to do it. Feel like I'm a big channel. I have an unboxing. I have a few stuff that I order, and I'm looking forward to. Uh, using it, but uh, it will come during the week. I just received that little one because I think it was little. After that, in the uh, Azure Subscription Cleaner, there's someone uh, didn't put it as a PR, but we'll check. I forgot his name, so we'll just put This uh, and after that, can, what can we do? We'll see, right? Um, I would like, 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 I would like to get back to the reading notes project because I never finished it, and I really want to. Oh yeah. Task list, maybe? Yeah. You know what? Let's rephrase this as cleaner I have one other thoughts that and I think that's it um, I don't think I had any other um, pull requests even if it was not really a pull request so the unboxing so I know I will be uh, more traveling so I was looking for lights uh, because I got my camera more to come about that but um, sometime you're in a hotel the lights is not really good because you know it could be the night or the morning or whatever so I was looking for lights and I don't want to bring so here I have big uh, flood that I'm using starting from uh, equipment that I was using when I was doing photography I use part of this upgraded to um, to uh, LED, so it's, I'm not burning up here with the, the big bulb that uh, create a lot of uh, warm heat. Uh, like this window, voila. 
so I have a LED and like this one is a little bit more flat so more compact but then it's still big so I'm not sure I will carry that all the time so I was looking for something very very small so I bought this it's a aperture M8 M9 what's the number I think it's M9 yeah aperture aperture uh, I'm sure I'm killing the name Aperture M9 M9 and um, comes in an awesome and the goal of that is just to you know maybe I have like a lamp desk lamp whatever it comes in on one side so the other one will be in the full shade so I want this to open it so it comes in a nice little <laughs> It's so not my type to do uh, unboxing. It comes in a little pocket with... Uh, how do you call that in English? Um, I forgot. Whatever. A clip. And I have a USB cable. It's micro USB. Unfortunately. And with this part... Sorry this part so you could uh, slide it this is a shoot foot I don't know how you call that so you could put it on top of a camera and fix it so then you put the light and it will light or because there is a hole in it just here like this so you could screw it on top of a tri tripod and so that was in one pocket in the other pocket there's the light so it's a tiny little light just like this very very small so like really really small but it's powerful so let's open it zoom that's pretty cool right If I do this, now it's at the minimum. Let's see what it does. So it's really, really strong. Really strong. Let's go back in minimum. Just for fun. I will turn off my flood here. So I'm losing the green screen in the back. So that's one screen. The light. Now if I'm... Damn, strong. It's really, really strong. Pretty cool. Uh, and it's super small. I, I, I won't. I don't think it's the best light ever because of my glasses. I need big lights, so it's soft the shadows. Otherwise, I look like a, you know, like a, the, the clown, sad clown with the drops. Um. But it will be easy to carry. I'm not sure even I will carry the the, pa the the full thing though. Like it's bad. Maybe add something else in it to fill the. There's extra space. It must stack a lot of power. It runs on battery, so that battery stays, I think, up for an hour and a half. Uh, I'm streaming usually two hours, so of course it won't stay f up all the time, though I could plug it. And you just need to carry one of those, um, well, bigger, the battery pack, or, oh, that's magnet. Pretty cool. There's, um, yeah, it's true. There's also uh, gel. It's not gel. We call that gel. Tiny layer color. So to have cold light or warm light. It's true. I removed that before the stream out of the box. 
I was worried that I was scratching. So I really like it. Uh, we'll do some tests with it later. But no, I think I thought I will be running from the battery or I will plug it in the wall or a battery pack or something like that. I always have a battery pack uh, that I charge while I'm sleeping. So I always have like it's a huge battery pack. So I was thinking more using, using that or it could be in the laptop. And then the laptop is plugged because you don't want to stream on your battery. Um, yeah. Retail? Oh, I was not expensive. Um, uh, about uh, fifty-five Canadian dollar on Amazon.ca. I'm sure you could find it maybe somewhere else. And I, I saw so they have package for two. I was really tempted to have two, so I thought you know like you put both. But then I just came back from vacation. I had some needs to buy other stuff, so that's why I decided to go with only one. And while I was on vacation, also I I ordered that a long time ago, but it took forever to come. So I got this this keycap. Really cool. I ordered that long, long, long time ago, and it, it's the end made that it's done by a dwarf, uh, dwarf factory. I think I already shared that on stream, but uh, I was waiting for the key, so I, now I the key cap. So now I received it was pretty happy when I came back from vacation it was there I was like yeah I think it's cool the way it's look like it's looking to my keyboard and said yep good keyboard so let's go in our glow board also that's the unboxing so that was my unboxing guys that was the like, you know, the YouTuber that do a lot of unboxing, definitely not. I just received it like 10 minutes before the stream. I was supposed to get it during the day and the guy deliver it just before the stream. So I just opened the box and said, you know what, I will save it. But maybe I should, you know, every time I have something, wait and unbox it <laughs> during a stream. I'm not sure. So, this is our glue board. And I, now that I have space, I could maximize it. This is cool. I love, I love having space. And I think it was here, I had a bug. And someone put some comments. And by the way, like this is all synchronized. So if you go on GitHub, you go in the issues, you go in the bug. If you add comment here, I will see it anyway. Just FYI. Like if you don't want to go with Git Kraken because you think I'm pushing it too too hard or like you don't like that that tool, you could stay with Git uh, GitHub. Just I like Git Kraken. I think it's really cool. That's why I'm using it, but it's not an obligation. So what was the error again? So tag merge when adding a new one with Azure CLI. Let's say yeah, I already have two tags. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so my, okay, I remember now. So the resource, the problem here is I'm trying to add tags to resources that already exist. So I already have resources and I want to add those tags. So, okay, 
let's just just if you're first time you hear about that project here let's just do a super lightning fast uh, recap of this project so this project is the Azure subscription cleaner okay easy because it's easy but also Azure and I have two videos uh, no one video was that I explain how to I I build it and blah 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 I have a blog post also oh, I should add the uh, video oh, I should have had the video you know what that's that's what we will do also tonight cool um, this part Frank Speak English. Mondays are harder. So this project, what it does is, it's just, you know, like in the cloud, it's really easy. You could spawn VMs, databases, tons of resources, and then you kind of forgot about it. Or maybe it was just for a presentation you're doing, so you're deploying a full solution. You're answering a bunch of questions on stage and then you leave to let the, the other speaker come in and you take your shot, bunch of questions and maybe it'll, you forgot to get back to your stuff and those things are up and running. So, money. Uh, this tool is just there, like simply free because it's open source. You could customize it the way you want it. I just want to create a tiny little tool to help anybody to clean up your subscription. The way it works is every day by default, uh, you could totally change it if you think every day is not enough or too much. It will execute an Azure function. Uh, so like you will be charged only for the time the function is running. So it's a few cents. Uh, and it will look for resources with the tags expired on and if the date is past it will delete the resources because it expired so what this is what it does so if you're creating a new resources that's easy you could create them adding the um, the tags it's very easy using the uh, arm template did I? Oh, I didn't. I didn't do any. Uh, oh, we could also do that. Add the uh, instruction to add with the ARM template. Anyway, or you could use PowerShell to add the template. So with the ARM template, you say set AZ resources. You specify the resource ID, and then you add the tags inspired on, and the tags will be there. So if the resource already exists, that's how you do it. You had them. And it will be working fine. In Azure CLI, if you do that, it like the way it works is it will replace. It's kind of a collection, so it will replace. So in the documentation, it was specified that you could do this code here, creating uh, getting the JSON file, then kind of rebuilding the structure for the tags, and then happening. Uh, hey, what? My chat is way too small. Can I make it bigger?
This is sad. Getting too old. Can I make it bigger? Like this? No. So, hello, uh, NLJ. SLT, is, he, is it salut? Or maybe it means something else. Um, yeah, so it happens to the end, the new tags. But when you run this, so let's say you have already owner Frank and demo equal meetups, then it kind of create the, our tag expire on that we want. But then it does that thing here. So that's pretty bad. Um, so here, what it suggests is, let's put that in a page. Uh, here. Let's create a new thing. Put it there, let's specify its PowerShell. Your French your French is pretty good, uh LJ. <laughs> so hi. So format document, so here it is. So get resource group, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but that's what? We can also use the build script to tag, add tags on each resources from a resource group. Yeah, but I think Oh, but that's in PowerShell. Okay, so it's a good example, but... Uh... <laughs> you need to practice? Yeah. And to practice in May, in May more and getting speaking to... Yeah. always like that so this is a really good example let's look again but it's in so it doesn't fix my problem because I need it in Azure CLI so but let's have a look at it so resource group get Azure group but then if the, the resource group What? Then for each resource inside the resource group, we'll get the tags. Okay, that's pretty cool. Should work. We could we could test it. But it's not in Azure CLI though. It's not in Azure CLI, but uh, let's let's add it. So I think first I will need to go in the um, portal create some resources. Let's just, sorry, I want to change my, um, nope. 
this, not this, not this. Okay. Share again. There it is. So I think I have a to delete source group. But I have nothing in it. Huh? Why it's still there then? I should do some cleaning. Well, if I'm running the script, they will. Uh, okay, so this I had a lot of. some tags perfect let's save it and it's in stream cleaner It's just pushing. Maybe I didn't read correctly. We can also use the below script to add tags on each resources from the resource group. Yeah, okay. So you need to first add. So you would need to do add the tag to the resource group. And then uh, it's a lot of code. But then, if you deploy, yeah, you could do that. If you create your um,
The other thing I want to, I would like to do is using policies to force people to use those tags. So if you're managing a subscription, then your user could create the tag without create the resources without the tag, so it's easy for them. But then they forget about it. So with policies, you could force them to specify a date and maybe you could have a report running also that you know like if they put like yeah the date 2001 first January then we say no 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 dude it needs to be I don't know like six buck in six month six month maximum or something like that that those tools we we could create them it's a bunch of uh, CLI or function or report we, we could add those in the um, that could be interesting would you be interested to uh, build those reports or function to get information about what's in there no music the music stop That's so plain. Let's find some music. Okay. Hey, Michael Jolly, how are you? How are you? Thank you, thank you. Welcome from uh, Mon Retour de Vacances. So yes, that was great. Did you see, can you see it? I'm full dark now, full tan. In fact, I, I got a sunburn on my chest, staying in the shadow. It was that warm. I was in uh, Crete, in Greece, and uh, <laughs> it was freaking out. Way too hot for me. Uh, okay, so what I want to do? Yeah, I want to add a new tag. New Azure Resource Tag. Set. Okay, so this is how you do it. Did I close it again? No. Let's put the value of yesterday. Uh, 
Like, can I execute it like this? Want that spash? Want a PowerShell one? Can I? Like it, huh? So let's save this in a script. So let's let's save this in. Why why you do that? This is the Linux version for this is sad. Like when you save, like why are you going that up? Why are you not staying close to where you should be? Get um and push And uh, Michael Jolie, by the way, you are right. Uh, the way I pronounce my um, I don't like that music. No, well, if it's like this, it's okay. So. Long story short, it was because of Don Juan de Marco. Uh, Don, Don Juan, not, not de Marco. Don Juan, um, the movie, and uh, my father gave us a bunch of names uh, based on that, and uh, so that's why you like the way you say it. It was okay, like it's Bucheros. So, like my full name that he gave me that night was Francesco de Bucheros. So I just kept it F Bucheros, F Bucheros, uh, just because nobody used that, so it's always available. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you're the best. We all know that, Michael Dooley. Uh, Add automation. Deployment. Test. Oh, how do you have a test? What's in test? And so. Oh, this is at the function level. I don't want this. Uh, let's open the folder and I want to open at that level. Don't save. So when is your uh, presentation, by the way, Michael Jolie? I know you're preparing a presentation with Docker, I think. I forgot exactly what it was. This and then it's control. Cool. So I want this now. So now I change folder, go in the 
deployment. Now I should be able to do test. Oh, you did one a few weeks ago. Oh, I'm, I'm that light. At GDG Dev Fest. And spoke last week. You did spoke at .NET Conf. How was it? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Lamarca 2, my uh, I have a Surface uh, laptop 2, uh, and it's running very well. Uh, I know before I was I, I went to vacation, uh, I was going strangely, and an update was required. After the update, everything was working perfectly. Uh, today I didn't work a lot on that. I I was working on my main PC. Um, so I didn't see I did I didn't see any problem with my surface. Um, my God, I got a few more this year. Uh, it was great. So what your talk was about? Was it the database? No, no, it's .NET. So what what part of .NET were you talking about? <laughs> Come on, voila, that's better. Assuming it needs a dot there, and I need to remove this. There it is. So your talk was, give me just one sec, and we'll come back. There it is. Okay, so Michael Jolie, your talk to .NET Conf was about using SQL Server in a Linux container. Okay. What what's your .NET twist? Because I know you blog about that. I I read your post. It was an excellent post, by the way. I think it was in my read. I I shared it also in my reading notes. But uh, like you were using two containers or only one with a database or you are connecting it to the .NET? I'm assuming like it was .NET. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying your talk was not good. I'm just trying to understand what's the .NET twist. I'm sorry. It went probably very wrong.
I know you know. I don't. I don't mean any arm, but. Uh, That's that's the old way. Set AZ resource group. Let's try that. But then Probably need to do a twist like this. Yips. Let's try this. Maybe it was because I didn't declare it. So, Michael Jolie. So it was how to use it in our deployment development pro process. For instances, if you're working on ASP.NET web web app that has its own Docker file, you could use the Docker Compose to spin. Uh, dev time database to your test again. Oh, pretty clever, cool. That makes sense. Because you know, there's you can talk about a bunch of stuff, but there's always that specific angle, right? So I'm just hacking right now. Oh. You need to save your file frame. Come on. <laughs> that will be easy, right? I should do that in the Ignite tour. Hey, this is my video. Just watch it. Okay, so it ran. Now if we go back, let's go here and now this should have the expired on. Yep, it worked. Okay, expired on also in the tags. Okay, cool. So it worked. Oh, did we lose the uh, owner though in the other one? Let me check. No, owner Frank is still there. So in PowerShell, it's work. It's working. It's in Azure CLI. It's not working. I just read the uh, blog post from Verbat Verba Verbatim. Did you watch uh, TwitchCon? I missed everything. I, I missed also TwitchCon. 
Where were you at TwitchCon? No, you were not at TwitchCon. Were you? I know um Noobcat was there, I know um Ryan. Well, what is his Twitch name? Damn, for once I forgot his Twitch name. <laughs> what his Twitch name is? Uh, Clark Hill. <laughs> yeah. Any anything major or cool that came out? Yeah, Clark. I was talking about Clark Hill. I always call him Clark Hill, even if I, when I'm chatting to him or talking to him outside Twitch and for once he was the real guy, it was Brian instead of Clark Hill. But I was looking for Clark Hill. Okay, so it works, so we could add that code snippet uh, in our PowerShell sample. We could a few things, nothing major. I saw the I noticed that the interface have changed a little bit. But uh, nothing crazy, right? Okay, so that that could work. Let's go in the README in the section where is the PowerShell. So that's the PowerShell, so let's add another snippet and we'll specify it. So let's do this, blah, blah, blah. And then I will do And I will just share it again because I'm assuming there's a little bit more people right now. So earlier in the chat, uh, I asked people to go to that link. That's my YouTube channel and I will open it again here. So if you go to the link I paste in the chat, that will open the community tab on my uh, YouTube channel where I asked today a question about would you watch more stream if it was on Twitch, on YouTube, you don't care because you're watching it whatever it is or you don't care because you're not watching it, any st live stream. So if you're watching this stream, please go uh, click, it will help me. If you're watching it in uh, video on demand, just go to the YouTube slash FBusheros and then you go to that middle community tab and uh, answer it. it well it's nice for me uh, some people suggest that I should stream at both places I'm not sure it's a good idea uh, I'm tempted to try to stream on YouTube just to try the platform but then I, I, I feel comfortable in Twitch right now for the stream part but then I always upload the stream to YouTube because on YouTube, they will stay there forever, or at least for a very, very long period, instead of Twitch with the very limited um, duration. So, I'm trying to see, you know, maybe if I stream on YouTube, then I don't need to save me time. I don't need to upload everything. Hey, thank you, uh, Ghost Tin Four N, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, Looking forward to see you in the chat. If you have questions, tonight is the good night to start following. It's a very smooth night, I'm just going back, coming back from vacation, um, getting back in my project. I may 
looking for doing some changes in the stream, have specific days, uh, maybe add one day for gaming because I want to game, I want to stop feeling guilty. So if it's planned, it's like, yep, it's one days, one days, I need to, I need to, to play, like it's on the schedule, like people are expecting me to play. <laughs> I love I love games and I like to play, but I always feel guilty. So I should should be working. But then you know you need you need to have fun also. Well, I have fun right now, but it's not the same fun. You know what I mean, right? Um. Yeah, but I'm not an affiliate because you're. You keep kicking out all my subscriber and follower, so I'm very little. Oh no, I'm affiliate. I'm not partner. So you know, I'm lucky enough that I have more and more follower. It's getting the the new follower or how do you say that correctly? The the growth is bigger than your the rate you're deleting my subscribe subscriber yeah yeah i'm a i'm a, an affiliate so you think i will have a, a look then oh, but you mean i could i cannot use the tool that stream seems like at the same time on both but i could stream on youtube if i want i will need to check that Yes, I am an affiliate because I have the the one emoji. Okay, so I cannot use the tool. I forgot the name of that tool where you stream on multiple multi platform. But I I don't think it's a good idea anyway. But uh, I know, for example, a lot of French community are on Facebook. So if and and you know. I'm having trouble, not trouble, but uh, the growth of my uh, French channel is going slower. It's kind of expected, it's not the same uh, community, it's smaller, so of course it's growing s slower. Um, but you know, if you don't go where they are, and I know when people are looking for things, like I'm the first one to do that, I search in English, I don't expect to have content in French. When I found content in French, then I may look at it. But uh, since I'm comfortable in English, I don't. I don't mind. Most of the time, I will stay in English just to keep my mindset in English. But um, anyway, that's why I was wondering. Maybe I should start streaming on YouTube, or maybe I should start streaming on Facebook. Though I'm not very active on. Fa I try for many years to be active on Facebook, but. The interface, I don't know why, like, it's very confusing for me. More confusing than that is... Uh, what it's called again? The yellow one. I feel like I'm old. Snapchat. Snapchat, the first time I opened Snapchat was like, how can I do things with that? And my daughter explained me how to do it. No, oh, hold on. That's good. Yeah, like it makes sense. You could, you could do, you could stream one. Maybe at partner level, you cannot though. You know, maybe uh, for example, um, C sharp Fritz is a partner level, right? At partner level, maybe you're not allowed to stream anywhere else. But the tiny guy like me, I don't. I'm not in the hundreds watcher. I'm in like under ten. <laughs> um. Okay. So this is our code. So now we have the following PowerShell command. Add the expired on, and I should put the lowercase here. Expired on 
tag value blah 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 on the resource mm -hmm. or if uh, you could also add tags to a resource group well and all the all the child resources or all the resources inside and all is its is its resources right and all it's a thing it's its resources damn english this script script will add the tag expired on I should use the same date Oh, I use the same date. Oh, excellent. <laughs> With the volume of the quote. And now the music is very low. My uh, stream music stream service was not working tonight. I don't know why the monster cat was not working so now I'm connected directly to the web page and running so I don't have my playlist and stuff as I usually do um, use not do um, and whoa 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 what's happening oh because I click here with the value blah 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 doing that what's happening what's happening with the other blah 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 and it's like a key is is okay and the most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America
That's looking good. I should have created a branch. Cool. So we had that as a simple power shell. So now let's go in the uh, board. The music is strange. Thanks. Can I add his name? Excellent idea. We it's been added to the PowerShell example. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's push that change. It's very loud. What's happening to my environment? Things are not working. Okay, now it's working. Okay, close this. There's three file. The readme. We have this. That's cool. The debug. Azure CLI. I played with that last time. Ah, I was testing the Azure CLI. Okay, I could. And now I had that for the uh, partial. Okay, that's good. But why cannot? Ah, now it's working. Okay, I'm just lagging. I don't know why. So here, adding some PowerShell example. Push. Yeah, 
cool. Now I should add the. Um, I think I had. Uh, oh, we can do this. I think I can go in my yeah, on Frankie's notes. I think I put a blog with both of them. Cool. To make sure. Oh, me. Is it how I did it? Maybe I did it that way. If you go in the. So now, okay, so, sorry, I was really in my head, huh? So, this project, there's two solutions. You could do it with Azure Automation, because maybe that's what you use and you're comfortable with that. So the automation is uh, something like a cron job uh, that executes scripts. So we have a script, you create an automation, the automation executes the script, and that's it. And the other one is using uh, Azure function the serverless service from Azure maybe because this is what you're used to I need to work on the uh, arm template to deploy everything automatically right now it's not working perfectly um, I need to work on that so that's why I have two solution I have version the the version I shouldn't like Version one and version two, no solution one, maybe solution two. I need to put, make it clear. Solution one, the version Azure function. Anyway, so I create two folder. If you look here, I have two folder for Azure automation and Azure function. When you go in Azure automation, you have the reference to the YouTube video I did that I explain how I create it. If you go in the, I have way too many tabs open. If you go in the function one, I don't have it. So I wanna add that thing. So that's what I wanna do. So to do it, we'll go in the Azure Automation Read me. Take that thing here. Now close it. Go in Azure function. I think it's this we need, right? Yes. I don't want to hear me, please. So the cleaning power of Azure function. 
That's the title. I did did well, you know, in few weeks, uh, close to two, three hundred views. It's not bad. Kind of happy of, uh, of that video. I I got I removed the uh, muscle. Though a lot of people liked it, but I think it was less serious. I'm not sure. We'll see if it changed. You know what? I changed when I came back. So if I see a bump in the stats, I know that uh, people who are watching the video are more serious. Not like you, who like to have fun, right? Right, guys? Right. Um, share. This is the code I want. Come on. Uh, is it what I did? I used the image from uh, DevTO. Does it work? Yeah, and now we have the old image. Cool. So now we we'll have the reference to the how to. Always cool. It's fired on. It is little. Excellent. This, let's close that. Um, let's reopen this.
bush. Great. Let's validate. Oh, here, can you see my comment? Yes, excellent. Close this one, this one. Something is happening. Just lost some USBs. My stream deck is flashing. It's back now. Uh, PowerShell. So here we have the new example. Pretty cool. Thanks again. And now if we go and oh yeah, I forgot to change this. If we go in the Azure function folder. Now we have that. Okay. So now, how can we change this? How to explore it? to the floor. Solution one. Is it more clear this way that there's two solution? Like solution one, solution two. Maybe I should put Azure function and Azure automation in bold. Can I put bold in the title? I can. Oh, I, I think LAN Worker 2, I'm not sure if you're still there, and uh, Michael Jolie, I know you have a Switch, but I know you're not a big player, I think it's more your, uh, your daughters, but um, right now I have so much fun, I play to Steam World Heist, it's super cool, it's really fun, it's a kind of a space robot cowboy, uh, robot western, 
and space game uh, where you're a, you're a captain and you help uh, cleaning up the bad boy. It's a turn base, so like. It's really slow pace you're not in a rush it's not stressful but then you need to aim correctly uh, and you're like you have different kind of guns and you can hire more different robots they have all their specialties and you know you could bounce your ricochet your when you shoot uh, it's pretty pretty cool uh, this is the game segment I told you I love games That's the game. Steam World Iced. And it's really cool. Steam World, they have plenty of games. All their games is super nice. Uh, that's the game. So that's why I was saying, like, kind of. Um, that's the captain. And they have all the other robots. And when you play, you're in, like, your robot. Your spaceship is. Um, going to another spaceship and then like you walk through like this so like you're having like oh, okay I can walk to this with an action and then when it's turned blue like here it's blue so then you know you, you're able to walk over there but you won't be able to shoot uh, if you want to shoot after you walk you must stay there over sun guns they won't allow you to shoot after you know there's a bunch of little twists like that it's pretty pretty cool the humor is awesome see so this one is a sniper so we got the laser that can help him and the ball the you could ricochet over there it's to explosion you explore the galaxy it's pretty cool and the other games of that campaign steam world uh, they created a bunch of different games and uh, I finished, so that's another game, it's a card game, that one, the Steam War Quest, didn't play it yet, but the review are awesome. I play Steam World Dig 1 and 2, I finished both, kind of the same week when I got them, like it's super addicted, really really nice, uh, now I'm playing that one. So they created the, a full world of things and it's really really awesome. Oh, they have a tower defense. I didn't know. Oh, on a DS. Anyway, that's my. Um, that was the a game segment of the stream. I'll put that in the chat for references. Awesome game. It wasn't special. It was five bucks. I think last week. Uh, really good. Did I push? Yeah. Or did I? Oh, I didn't push. Solution one, solution two, oh boy, we don't see here. That's good enough. Um That's pretty good anyway. So now I think I should do before I forgot forget. Going here and had our new follower. So Mr. Ghostly M Ghostlim 4M Ghost Lyman? I don't know how to pronounce. 
I'm, I think I'm really bad. I was a follower, right? Yeah, follower. So we did check the suggestions of Mr. And I need to put his name also. Let's do this. What was his name again? Issue. And a bug. We add the reference. Yeah. So the thing I want to add. So I want to play with those things here. Oh, and I want to do a milestone. Create an arm template. See, they have milestones. Yeah, I need to play with that. Glow. So it's still open. In progress. So. Milestone. Enter a milestone name. Version one. One dot o. Assignment. What? Oh, yeah. Cool. So now I have my board and I have milestone, so that's cool. And here that's also should be part of the milestone V1. Right? So now if I do milestones, I have this.
One feature, let's create another feature here, to-dos. I want to add uh, enforce um, Enforce the tag expired on, on all resources. Uh, and that will be um, an announcement. And help wanted, add card. That could be a next version though. Description. Let's add a description. Using poly C's. We could enforce. I'm not sure it's the good word. Enforce all resources to have the tag expired on so when new resources are created the tag is populated We could we like, because I'm not sure of that one, right? I'm assuming yes. Could we force a specific value? Example maximum max six month later because I think you should like always postpone for a little while and keep fresh so that's why like you're not like whoa what's that thing who created yeah um yep Well, that's a subscription level, but um, like if you're implementing that tool, I think it could be useful, right? I need to save the file, it's getting easier. Where was was here? Oh, this one is sharper. Save image as. Uh, let's put it in pictures. Save. Now add an image. Come on. I 
Because it's already open. Eh? Cool. I think that's it for tonight, guys. Um, I should go in this mode. Oh, I think I have. I think I have everything here. If I'm not mistaken, I could play the credits from here, where it is. Live action. Oh, I'm not there. Hey. can die <laughs> well I'm an invisible man so thank you for watching uh, can I play the credits roll the credits hopefully uh, yeah okay credits should put something darker There it is. So thank you for watching. Um, that was a great stream. So we did uh, play with a little bit with the PowerShell to add resources to uh, one resource group and then populate all the resources inside it. Uh, we did see for the earlier coming the new Aperture Light M9 that I will be using and uh, when I will be traveling. I also shared and please go vote for uh, you know that my little questions on YouTube at F, uh, YouTube slash F Bucheros and then you go in the community tab just vote uh, to know if you will still be watching it the stream if it's on YouTube or on another one. If you care or don't just let me know it helps uh, to understand where and why I should do things. What else? I think that's it. So, without further ado, I will let you go and let's see you on Friday. Thank you guys. Bye.